Hi friends, it's Julia. Welcome to 31 Days of Scrapbooking in December, where I'm making a layout every day and they're all Christmas themed. Um, today is day number 19. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the month, and so we'll get on with today's. Today is a sketch from Scrapbook Generation, um, and it's not the best sketch. Like I said, I have these saved on my Pinterest, and when I went to copy them all out, um, on regular paper they some of them copied okay some of them cut off on the edges but you you get the representation of it's a closed square like that and I'm guessing the divider is like right here so here's page one here's page two here's page one so that's what I have as far as sketch goes I did pull out a ton of stuff <laughs> I have a ton of photos here let's see one two three oh four, five, six, seven, eight photos, and the sketch actually called for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight photos. Um, how I use them, I don't know. Um, I did add in some gift packages uh, from that one sticker sheet. I put them on just some uh, beige or tan color cardstock, and I will fussy cut those out. I pulled in some gnomes. I thought I had a package that I had already yeah, I'm just going to trade that out because I've already started using these, so I'll put those back. Um, I have these. They were in my supplies uh, from years ago. Um, I've had these forever. They're listed from Hobby Lobby from 2012, and I probably bought them when they first came out. So I love them. I have used every bit of the ones that I have previously brought out, and so plan to keep using them till they're gone. Uh, pulled in a cut apart page or a cut apart piece. I want to say it's from that uh, six by eight um, collection that I added in. And here's the title on Christmas morning. Um, and I've added in quite a few stickers and chipboard pieces and different things along there. Added in several Christmas tree. I even have this little filigree one. Um, and I, this is my last one that I have already cut out. So I think at the end of this year, I'm gonna have to, when I go through my scraps, I'm gonna have to uh, pull out some papers that are conducive to cutting these out. They're so pretty. Um, I have all of these trees as well. And this one I have been saving. A friend of mine had this die um, years ago and I cut it out. I cut a ton of them out uh, when I was there with her. Um, and then afterwards, I looked for this die everywhere and could never find it uh, because it has the base to it already. Uh, I have found other dies, obviously, that are just as nice. Um, maybe not exactly the same size, but fairly close. So I've decided this year, rather than hang on to this and continue to look for a tree with a base already on it, I'm just going to use that one on somewhere on this layout. So that's all the stuff that I have. Um, I added in this Echo Park, this Cartabella, uh, this Heidi Swap, and a couple of sheets from uh, Felicity Jane to uh, create my layout with. Um, and you can see it calls for a big piece right here in the middle, and I really haven't made up my mind whether it's going to be this ornament paper or this floral paper. It's going to be one of those two. I just don't know which until I start playing along. Um, I'm drawn to both. I want to use both of them. So anywho, we'll see what I create. I'm going to put a close-up of the sketch, and I will be back with my finished layout in just a few minutes. Okay, friends, I'm done with another layout. I did not end up using any of the reindeer because they're gold tone, and I ended up going with silver on this one. So those will go right back into my stash. Um, I did use four of the little gnomes. Um, the gifts, I didn't use those either. I fussy cut them, got them all ready. Didn't use them because they, again, had gold on them. But I'm sure I'm going to use them at some point. So, uh, yeah, they'll go over to the side. And then these are the two stickers that I had left. And then these are the three chipboards that I had left. Um, I did add in some... 3 by 4 cards um, because the backs are patterned and so I cut those down to create photo mats. Uh, I did add in a piece of star paper from Cartabella 
there's an extra little border strip that I cut. I did not end up going with this one. You guys knew that, right? <laughs> you knew you looked at that floral paper and, and I know you guys decided she's going to use that because that's what I would use, right? Yeah. And so that's the piece that I barely used any off of because those border strips came from there. So I'll set those aside. Those will go back into my scraps and I used, uh-oh, had a little bit of glue on the back of that. Use my date there. So there's the sketch and here is the two page layout that I created. And I love how this ended up turning out. Um, I used the pocket page card here. I used Christmas trees here, here, and here. I used the gnomes here. I put my title here, but um, I also use this, it says, it's the season to be jolly. Um, and you can see Christmas morning means everybody's opening gifts and having a good time, right? So one of the sticker sheets had uh, five little hexagonal shapes. And so I used all five. Plus I, did I, yeah, I pulled one in from the additional sticker sheet that I had, uh, another green one, and put it down there. There's the one, two stickers that I had added in. There's the chipboard piece that I used. There's the date. I used some star sequins from the Felicity Jane mix. I used some green sequins from the ones that uh, I had left over from a different um, occasion. And then I used the silver washi tape with the dots rather than stitching. And I used the silver thread. I used it behind here and behind here with the hexagons. And that's where I cut down the uh, three by four papers there. And then I layered up all those Christmas trees over here. But I really, I say, and I say this about all of them because I start off with great sketches and it makes them come together. It makes the layouts come together so well. And I, I just love starting with sketches and especially with these sketches that I am starting off with from scrapbook generations tried and true they are have to be my favorites page maps and uh, scrapbook generations especially for the two page layouts scrapbook generation is the best by far anyway guys that's it for day number 19 make sure come back tomorrow so that you can see the next layout um, that I'll make and uh, yeah, don't forget tomorrow is the day that I'm going to announce the winner for the secret giveaway. Um, so watch for that video to come out tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.